We went in that beautiful way, yeah, very, and then just pan out. I see. Hey, hey. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Busybody, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it I'm just gonna read through it and then fill in the gap, okay? Let's go 2020, my favorite year of all time The beginning of a global health and economic crisis But it was also the beginning of unimaginable possibilities Human potential was really tested and tech companies reaped significant gains. Governments spent billions of rands on COVID relief and 15 months later, we are still figuring out a vaccine program. Now, finding the solution for economic justice in the 2020s can be sought through first, gender inclusion of women, girls and trans women. And secondly, the utilization of technology and integration of 4IR into society. As we have witnessed, it has been 26 years since the Beijing commitment, and now we must commit to 26 more years. And in that process, implement the standards for economic justice, which the UN woman seeks to achieve by 2026. This could be the process that we achieve that through molding a healthy socio-economic environment that makes technological advancements accessible for young South African women and girls. And this is how, this, 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 this is how we innovate in South Africa. It is important to remember that women's rights intertwine with economic justice and vice versa. The question at hand is what does economic justice mean for the African girl child? Never before have we had information so accessible at the touch of a hand, yet we have a digital divide occurring in the age where the demand for digitization has been in dire need of how we work, how we communicate and connect in the world. At IWFSA's YLC Ideal, we have made the Action Coalition of Technology and Innovation for Gender Equality. And part of this commitment is to enforce and ensure compliance in matters pertaining to policy and legislation of ICT. We're aware of the limitations and gaps that women and girls experience to compete effectively in the ICT sector. This is done through, oh, this, 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 a hey research, training, resources, and digital skills that are not easily accessible in a country with high data prices and unsustainable electricity. 
The YLC team has created a subcommittee, the Internet of Things series, dealing with 4IR technologies and innovation, and has started consulting subject matter experts in these areas to raise awareness and training amongst our youth. We've also entered strategic partnerships with big names in these industries, such as Cisco, BDI, MTN, and more. Our educational partnerships with the University of Stellenbosch through their SGI program has given, has utilized, has utilized technological transformation such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and an online canvas to educate our entrepreneurs on the importance of digital marketing <clears throat> online presence of um, online presence of a business and resources. And so, um, the pandemic has also made accessibility to those that may not be able to afford <coughs> the university. To those who may not be able to afford the university, has been at stake where women and girls were the most affected by the pandemic. It is important to highlight that economic justice in the 2020s cannot be achieved without the protection of women rights in society. We may begin by streamlining gender inclusion of women, girls, and those in the LGBTQIA community. Secondly, through the utilization of technology and integration of 4IR within society. As we have witnessed,